What's up, family? Welcome back to the latest reaction channel on YouTube. Today, we're going to be watching some more weird and crazy TikToks, man. So, you're going to want to stay tuned, man. I figured tis the season to be creepy. I would change my lights in the background to give it a more Halloween-y feel. You know what I'm saying? If that's a word or whatever. So, why not start it all off by watching some creepy stuff, bro? Let's get to it. Do these images make you uncomfortable? If they do, this is a concept called Uncanny Valley, where people have a strange, uneasy feeling when they look at robots that are too lifelike, or anything that looks or acts human, but there's something off about them. This concept was introduced in the 70s by a professor at the Tokyo Institute of Technology named Masahiro Mori. He coined the term Uncanny Valley to describe his observation that as robots appear more human-like, they become more appealing, but only to a certain point. Let me know in the comments if you experienced this. Nah, I ain't never experienced that, but I don't think I would like to, bro. They got a whole town dedicated to that. That's crazy, bro. Just when I thought I heard about all the worst cults in history, this one had to come and blow them out of the water. This is Colonia Dignidad. They were a German torture cult hiding out in the Chilean wilderness after World War II, AKA Yahtzees. And to show you how terrible they were, let me tell you a story. As a quick reminder, if you want more info, you can check out the podcast. The leader of this cult was a known child abuser and he wanted more Chilean boys to be brought to him. So he started a hospital in the community and used it as a trafficking system to get more children. One day, a young Chilean boy choked and was rushed to the hospital. And right when he got there, a nurse scooped him up, brought him to a room and saved his life. But later that day, his sister arrived and asked a nurse when she could pick him up to take him home. And the nurse responded that they needed to monitor him for a few more days, which is pretty suspect in a choking case. So a few days later, she comes back and she's like, okay, can I get my brother? And the nurse tells her that he's not there anymore. And this is because the hospital had lawyers on staff that were drafting up adoption paperwork when young boys would come in. The cult was able to what? legally adopt boys in the community without the parents' consent, and the parents had not enough money to do anything about it. There are so many more stories about this place, and I had never heard of it before, so make sure you check out this week's episode for more info. Bro, that was like in the early 30s and the 40s and stuff, bro. That was some crazy stuff, and just imagine what no phones, like you couldn't record that this stuff was going on. A lot of people really didn't have access to what their rights was, didn't know not, nothing. Like, bro, it was crazy back then. Things humans were never meant to see. Oh. Fishermen strapped a GoPro to Wow, y'all think that was a real mermaid? Here are 10 creepy, disturbing, and scary facts you didn't know. Part 2. Today's high school students have the same anxiety levels as insane asylum patients had in the 1950s. Until 1974, it was illegal to appear in public in the city of Chicago if you were ugly. What? During the early 1990s, a serial killer named Joseph Metheny owned a burger stand located in Baltimore, Maryland. After his arrest in 1996, he confessed to feeding his customers the flesh of at least three humans he had murdered. A new homeowner was shocked to find a rag doll boarded up in a wall cavity, clutching a note saying she killed a family. In 1977, we received a radio signal from space that lasted 42 seconds. To this day, we still don't know where that signal came from. The movie The Hills Have Eyes was based on the true story of the Bean Clan, a Scottish family who would secretly ambush, kill, and eat travelers for 25 years. Wow. In 1957, two sisters, Joanna and Jacqueline Pollock, were killed in a tragic car accident. A year later, their mother gave birth to twins, Jennifer and Jillian. Then it gets weird. Jennifer, the younger twin, had scars and birthmarks on her body that were identical to Jacqueline's, the deceased younger sister. The twins began to ask for toys that had belonged to the deceased girl, toys they had no knowledge of. Albert Fish, an American serial killer, boasted that he killed in every state and claimed to have had over 100 victims. What makes him even more sickening is that he sent letters to his victims' parents to tell them how good their children tasted. A man named Francesco Lentini had three legs, four feet, 16 toes, and two sets of functioning male genitals. He worked for a circus and lived until the age of 78. In 2011, Anatoly Yurovich was arrested after 12 dolls were found in his apartment. However, they weren't regular dolls. They were recently deceased little girls that he had dug up, dressed up, and displayed. 
like for part three bro that is crazy found 12 dolls that will deceased little girls in his apartment bro like kind of weird stuff you gotta be on bro here's a weird and creepy fact right here during the premiere of some like it hot in 1959 we seen marilyn monroe at the premiere and right behind her is ripley's believe it or not and it's weird because 62 years later, Ripley's loaned the dress to Kim Kardashian, and she ended up damaging Marilyn Monroe's historical dress when she sang to President JFK in 1962. And here is proof that Kim Kardashian damaged Marilyn Monroe's dress. Right here when she's putting on the dress, we see how all the rhinestones seem to be in place, but after she wore it, people noticed how many rhinestones were missing at the museum. Another huge damage that she did was that the strap of the dress C is perfectly fine when she's wearing it in the Met Gala. But days later, people noticed how it was torn up in display. And no, the dress was not already damaged. Here are photos of the dress throughout the years. And this is how badly they treated Marilyn's historical dress. And this is Kim mimicking Marilyn, which seems to give off mocking and disrespecting vibes. Happy birthday to you, Mr. President. And another thing is that Kim Kardashian wore another Marilyn Monroe dress, which was Marilyn's 1962 Golden Globe dress, which was a green sequin dress. She claimed that she fits her clothes so well. You guys, don't I fit Marilyn's stuff, like, so perfectly? This is the, what she wore to the Golden Globes. This dress was most likely not damaged, since when Marilyn Monroe was wearing the dress, it was a bit saggy, because she didn't want to use the arm straps. And since Kim Kardashian is a bit more curved than Marilyn Monroe, it seems to be tight on her. And she is holding Marilyn Monroe's award with the dress. Marilyn Monroe wore the first ever nude illusion dress, and here is the reaction of the crowd since they thought Marilyn was nude. Mr. President, the late Marilyn Monroe. Her dress became the most expensive dress sold in auction and an American historical dress which Kim also agreed on and factually it is. Lastly, Marilyn Monroe wish was for no one to wear her dress. And let's please stop using the dead as our accessories, especially when some claimed for no one to use their personal belongings. Why would they let her, out of all people, wear a dress that was on display at a museum? Like, come on, man. What kind of pool you gotta have to do that, though? Like, for real. Extremely creepy facts. That will blow your mind. When you die, your hearing is the last sense to leave. You can hear your loved ones leave you behind. A human head remains conscious for 20 seconds after it's been decapitated. If you look up the number 241,542,903 on the web, you'll find people with the heads in fridges. Wow. 20 seconds? That's crazy. Like, if your head get cut off, you, you can still see and hear and everything for 20 seconds. And you That means you can watch your body that's separated from your head. Bro, what? Creepy facts about our world you didn't know about. If you've ever been sleeping and you had a nightmare that you've been falling off of a building or out of the sky and you woke up kind of flinching a little bit, this is actually called hypnic jerks and B. Ethically, what it is, it's your body thinking you're about to die, so it wakes you up. This might sound insane, but you're literally always six minutes away from dying, and every time you take a breath, the clock happens to restart. That ocean is just really a graveyard full of dead bodies and sunken ships, and every time you go visit the beach and take a dip in the water, you're basically swimming in a pool full of dead bodies. People unknowingly swallow about eight spiders a year. Literally, spiders are crawling inside your mouth and down your esophagus, and you have no idea when or where. <laughs> Facebook shut down to robots named Alice and Bob because they started talking to each other in their own language. I remember that about the the robot. The, well, AI started develop to develop their own conscience, so to speak. Yeah. What? Y'all think that was real? 
what's up? Here's some scary facts about our world that you probably didn't want to know. Part 20. Before Michael Jackson actually passed away, five hours before he died, someone posted the exact way and time he would die. And it was 100% accurate, and it did happen that exact way. Facebook actually shut down two robots that they created known as Alice and Bob because they started talking to each other in their own language. Yeah, I probably would have shut them down too. The CIA once came out with a weapon that kind of mimicked the behavior of a taser, but instead of sending electricity through the body, it gave the same symptoms and reactions as a heart attack would, and it was known as the heart attack gun. Halloween actually started out with people using real animal heads and skin as their Halloween costumes, and so that they could fit in with other spirits to make sure the spirits thought that they were actually spirits so that they could pass and roam. In 2008, a boy named James was gifted with an Elmo doll, and as soon as they put the batteries in the Elmo doll, the dog exclaimed, kill James. Yeah, I don't know where they bought that doll at. Yeah, no, nah, that doll would have definitely got set on fire. I'm sorry. Is it going to say my name? Mm -mm, no. Facts about history. Napoleon's wife had a friend who was known as government property because she had banged so many ministers of state. Machiavelli wrote a letter to his friend about how he slept with a prostitute then threw up all over her when the lights came on because she was so ugly. Julie Dobigny was a famous 17th century French opera singer who once took the holy vows to enter a convent just so she could sleep with a nun. She also had a habit of seducing women at parties which would lead their husbands to challenge her to a duel. She was an expert duelist and killed a few men like this. Victor Hugo, the romantic writer, slept with so many prostitutes that on the day he died, all the brothels in Paris were closed because so many of the prostitutes took the day off to mourn him. Yeah, Julie wasn't nothing to play with. That pain you feel from a sunburn is your skin cells committing suicide before they mutate into cancer. It's completely possible to become allergic to yourself. Your brain is the only thing keeping you from feeling your organs. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Morbid facts that will give you nightmares. When a prisoner is electrocuted in an electric chair, they can feel absolutely everything. They are fully aware that their body is being fried in real time. And one prisoner that survived said he actually smelled and tasted like cold peanut butter. Human corpses decompose four times faster in water than underground and eight times faster if left in the open air. It takes around 359 humans to have enough iron to forge a sword from their blood. Just about 3,000 people go missing every single year in the US. The last execution by guillotine was in 1977 in France. That was exactly the same year that the first Star Wars movie came out wow the last murder the last execution by guillotine was in 1977 that ain't that far that ain't that far back wow wow creepy facts about your body you're gonna wish you didn't know when you go down a drop on a roller coaster and you suddenly feel your stomach drop it's not just you feeling nervous what you're feeling are your organs actually moving have you ever noticed that an older person in your life seems to have very long large ears that's because your ears will never stop growing across your lifetime you will spend an average of an entire year just sitting on a toilet. When we see brains outside of the human body, they usually look pretty solid. But your brain, while inside your skull while you're alive, is actually very soft. It's like melted butter soft. Wow. Brain like butter? Disturbing facts from history I wish I didn't know. Number four is the worst of them all. Number one. The CPR dummy face is based on a deceased 16-year-old French girl. Back in the 1880s, the unidentified young woman's body was pulled from the River Seine. Neither how she lost her life nor her identity were ever discovered, but a mortician became so entranced by the girl's peaceful expression that he made a plaster cast of her. This became the face of many CPR dummies used around the world. Wow. If you've ever done CPR and took CPR class, that means you'd have kissed a dead girl. I know I've done CPR class. People used to have family photos taken with deceased loved ones. Back in the 19th century, child mortality was so high that grieving families would sometimes dress their unalived loved ones up in their Sunday best and pose with them in a family photo. Some photographers became especially skilled at manipulating the eyeballs so that they would stare straight at the camera. Number three, while on an expedition into Africa during the late 19th century, James Jameson, heir to the Jameson Irish Whiskey Empire, reportedly asked to see some cannibalism in real life. In order to make this happen, Jameson allegedly purchased a slave girl and handed her over to the men who proceeded to take her life and eat her flesh. 
Jameson is said to have sketched out the gruesome scene in a series of watercolor paintings. Number 4. In 1891 in Pikeville, Kentucky, 20-year-old Octavia Hatcher gave birth to a son named Jacob, who fell ill and became unalive. Soon after that, Octavia sunk into a deep depression that soon led to sickness and a coma. Not long after, Octavia was pronounced unalive and was quickly buried. But over the course of the next few days, a few other people around town began to fall ill as well. Only they all recovered. Some people began to wonder if Octavia might have had the same illness and was prematurely buried. So they went to dig her up, but by then it was too late. Octavia had been buried alive. When they opened her wow. casket, they found the lining of the coffin lid had been shredded from Octavia's bloody nails as she tried to claw her way out. Wow, man. Wow, man. Weird-ass facts that I know for some reason. The world record for the longest constipation ever is 102 days. Captain Crunch's full name is Horatio Megalon Crunch. Hippos mark their territory by shitting in the water and then swirling it around to make the scent spread through the water. Shit stew. 40% of goldfish crackers actually have faces on them. The paper that's inside of a Hershey Kiss is called this, but I'm not saying that shit out loud. Turtles can- Niggly wiggly. Why? 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 Why would they call it that? What? Underwater through their butt. Shakespeare was the first ever person to use the word swagger. There is a restaurant in Tokyo that will let you have sex with an animal, then they kill it, cook it, and serve for you to eat. Female gamers have 1.5 times more sex than non-gamer females. Kangaroo's genitalia are the opposite of ours. The PP is in the back and the balls are in the front. <laughs> what? That I what? 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 <laughs> what? Bro, this is weird for real. These roller coasters are made so that you don't survive them. Julihonas Urbanas designed this roller coaster, known as the Euthanasia Coaster, in the year 2000. Designed to carry up to 24 people, the ride begins with a steep, slow climb to a height of 570 meters, which is only slightly less than the tallest American building, the World Trade Center. The climb takes about two minutes, in case anyone changes their mind and wants to get off. Once you've reached the highest point, you're off for a 500-meter drop that takes the cars up to 223 miles an hour before continuing with this loop, each with a smaller diameter than the previous one. This design is designed to maintain 10 Gs of force for 60 seconds. The passenger's blood will then rush to their lower body, and the brain will run out of oxygen. This causes a gray haze, followed by tunnel vision. Gradually, this becomes a blackout, followed by syncope, that is loss of consciousness due to the Gs. The euthanasia coaster was conceived as an euthanasia machine created to take life in a humane, elegant, and euphoric way. This would allow people, for example, suffering from incurable diseases, to depart if they wished with a bit of fun and without pain. So are you keen to give it a try? Hell no! What the hell kind of sinister ass ride is that? Who the hell want to get on the ride before they die? No, no. Weird ass facts that I know for some reason. Turkeys are actually cannibals. They love the taste of their own meat and they have been known to eat each other even while they are still alive. Out of every single job in the world, veterinary nurses has the highest rate of unaliving themselves. Dentures used to be made from the teeth of dead soldiers up until the 1800s. The average male bite is so powerful that it can rip someone's throat out in one clean chomp. In the 1960s, the United States accidentally dropped a nuke in North Carolina but it was later found in a tree and thankfully did not detonate. It is physically impossible to choke an owl, which means that someone has repeatedly tried to choke an owl so many times and has failed. Weird ass- <laughs> Scary facts you wish you never knew. Don't try to look at yourself in the mirror at the middle of the night because... From 3am to 5am your reflection isn't actually you. I believe it. Y'all believe it? Y'all let me know. Weird facts you don't know. A swarm of 20,000 bees followed a car for two days because their queen was stuck inside. Crocodiles cannot stick their tongue out because it's attached to the roof of their mouths. If you tickle a rat day after day, it will start laughing whenever it sees you. In 2013, police what? in the Maldives arrested a coconut for loitering near a polling station for the presidential election. Locals feared the coconut may have been ingrained with a black magic 
magic spell to influence the election. A Chinese farmer who always wanted to own his own plane built a full-scale, non-working replica of an Airbus A320 out of 50 tons of steel. It took him and his friends over two years and costed over $400,000. When invited hmm. by a lady to spend a night with her, Benjamin Franklin asked to postpone until winter when nights were longer. Definitely was weird right there. Someone recently asked me what the strangest thing I've seen in a police file is, and I think I have an answer. It's this trash can. Let me explain. So this trash can was found in Joan Rish's house in 1961, immediately after she went missing. Her young daughter had gone to a neighbor's house and told the neighbor that mommy is missing and there's red paint all over the kitchen. And when the police got there, they saw that the red all over the kitchen was blood. But there were also a few really weird details like this trash can, so the police had no idea what had happened to Joan. So first and foremost is the fact that this trash can is just in the middle of the kitchen. Normally it was under the sink, but here it is just in the middle of the kitchen for no reason. And then the contents of the trash made no sense. So here is the phone receiver, which has been ripped from the wall. You can see in this photo here that the phone is still on the wall, but just the mouthpiece was ripped off and then moved across the kitchen and neatly placed on the trash. And on the phone was a fingerprint they could never identify. People hypothesize that maybe someone was there and when Joan went to call for help, they ripped the mouthpiece off. Then there was this beer. So Joan's husband was out of town when this happened, but when he came back, he said that no one in the house drank Miller High Lifes. He didn't drink it, Joan didn't drink it, the trash had been taken out since the last time people were over, but yet there's Miller High Life next to the trash. Joan disappeared that day and was never seen again. And these two little pieces right here are some of the only evidence that someone else may have been in the house. They don't. That's crazy. That trash had all the evidence, but they still couldn't figure out who it was. Weird. Nope, this is not a 14 year old boy and people don't even know if he's real. A boy named Rudy after being missing for eight years was finally located outside a church with bruises and cuts all over his body. Many were terrified because where did he go for eight years? How was he alive and why does he have bruises? Oh, but there's worse news because Rudy came back unable to speak, meaning he's not able to currently form any words or any information about where he has been and who has done this to him. Apparently when his mother tries to hug or touch him, he flinches and moves away as he thinks she'll strike him. Rudy went missing one day after walking his two dogs and then the dogs came home but Rudy did not. Rudy was found barely okay in the same city he went missing when someone called 911. His mother released a statement saying a good Samaritan found him last week sleeping outside a church in Houston. He was then admitted to the hospital and it turns out he believes he's a different person with a different name and he's 14 years old. What's even stranger is that the family of Rudy all claimed that Rudy was never missing and was just hanging out with them the other day and neighbors have said that they have seen seen Rudy with his mother all these years. What? I mean, what? Like, what? The creepy murder cases you haven't heard of. <laughs> John George Hay was a married man in the UK who was also a gruesome murderer. He thought he could avoid getting caught if there were no bodies, so he dissolved his victims in baths of acid. However, there was still sufficient evidence to prove he killed six people. He then claimed to have killed nine. He was put to death by hanging. Wow. I saw this before. I think I did a reaction to it. This man went missing from his home 20 years ago and they found his car in the same river or lake or pond down the street from his own house 20 years later. Bro, that's crazy. And they found it on Google Earth. That's what That was the crazy part. Whatever you do, never go searching for this video. These five friends were forced to kill each other by the Mexican cartel. These five young aged from 19 to 22 were looking for some sort of employment and they were promised a high paying job at a call center. But when the alleged contact was taking them to meet the people for the job, it actually turned out to be a whole scheme to recruit them to the Mexican cartel. And when all five of these boys said they didn't want to join, the cartel then said okay and tied them up, taped their mouth and took a picture and then recorded one of the friends killing all the other four friends. And after that, they put the fifth one who just killed all of his friends into a car and set it on fire. I am telling you right now, do not go searching for this video because you will find it. 
And trust me, you do not want to see something like this. This case is absolutely horrific, and the fact that this happens way more often than we think is just extremely scary and disturbing. It's just sad that these young men were just trying to get a job and make some money for themselves, but instead it turned into a living nightmare. Rest in peace, these five young men. That's crazy. I remember, man, there was a time where those cartel videos of people getting murdered, bro, were going crazy on the internet. Like, you could find them anywhere. They would just pop up, and you could just see how gruesome the murders would be. They would, like, literally skin people alive and all these different things, man. It was really rough. Rough to watch, but it was a real thing, bro. That's crazy. I hate that for them kids. This is one of the most sickening and disturbing cases I ever covered, and it will make any true crime fan stomach turn. This is the case of Jennifer Dodderty. This case took place... Wait, why did it look like him? Greensburg, Pennsylvania, which is a relatively small area. Jennifer was 30 years old and was extremely kind and sweet. She loved to dance and she trusted everyone she ever encountered. This is because she had some mental disabilities, and this disability even affected her keeping up with her peers in school. And she always got bullied and teased, but she always chose kindness over anything else. She then started going to this community center when she finally thought she met her friends. And these supposed friends were Angela, Peggy, Amber, Melvin, Ricky, and Robert. And you will soon find out why they weren't her friends. These six people all lived together and Angela was 17, who was pregnant with Ricky's baby who was 23 years old. Amber was 20, who was pregnant with Melvin Knight's baby. Peggy was 27 and Robert was 36. Now remember, Jennifer was 30 years old, but due to the mental disability she had, she had the mental capabilities of a 12 to 14 year old person. The six of them and Jennifer hung out for a while, but soon after Angela became extremely jealous of Jennifer. This is because her boyfriend Ricky would always flirt with Jennifer when they all hung out. So Angela and Amber came up with this whole screwed up plan. On February 10th, 2010, Jennifer was invited to a sleepover with her friends. And before she left, she left a note for her mom that said, Have a great day at work, and I love you very much. Right when Jennifer stepped into the apartment house, she was subjected to 36 hours of extreme hell. The group went through her purse and stole money, gift cards, and her cell phone. They poured liquids into her bag, hit her head with filled soda bottles, cut her hair, painted her face with nail polish, and dumped liquids and spices on her head. They then took turns violently hitting Jennifer with a metal towel rack and crutches. Jennifer was also stripped naked, gagged, and then raped by Melvin. They even forced her to drink cooking oil, nail polish, detergent, different medications, and even urine. And keep in mind, this whole time, Jennifer completely trusted them because she thought that they were all her friends. But Man. they were literally dehumanizing her. They then continued pouring all these things and spices on her head, and Jennifer was crying that her eyes hurt and she couldn't see. But they didn't listen and continued pouring. And after they decided they tortured her enough, they took her life. They then tied her up in Christmas lights and forced her to write a fake suicide note, essentially saying that everything that happened to her was self-inflicted. The first line reads, I have not been feeling happy for a while now, and I also feel everybody will be better off without me. Which is just sad because that wasn't the case. Jennifer was extremely loved. Once the note was written, Same. they got a knife and stabbed Jennifer to death. And once they knew she was dead, they tied her up in Christmas lights again, stuffed her body inside a garbage can and dumped it in the parking lot of a middle school where her body would be discovered by a truck driver the next day on february 11th Dang, even though man, angela orchestrated the whole thing she avoided the death penalty because she was 17 and a minor but she ended up getting life without parole melvin got the death sentence ricky was also given the death penalty and peggy amber and robert were given 30 to 72 years in prison this case is just so sickening and disturbing, and it stuck with me after I read it, and I feel extremely bad for Jennifer and her family. I wish nothing but the worst for those six people who did this to Jennifer. Yeah, that's fucked up, bro. Real, that is messed up. It's some messed up people out here in this world, bro. Some real messed up people, bro. I don't even know what to say after that, man. But hey, if you like what you saw, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, get in the comments, and also, hit that link to the discord join it it's free shoot me some videos that you want me to react to but until next time folks